What's up guys? It seems to me that projectors are getting better and are cheaper not even every month, but every day. For example, the new Nick Pau Q6 projector has Full HD native resolution, 13,000 lumens or 400 NC brightness, Bluetooth 5.1 and dual band Wi-Fi support. How much do you think it is worth? A couple of months ago, I would have said around $200, however, you can get it for only $109 now on Amazon. Moreover, there is a $30 off coupon code, so the projector will cost you less than $100. The Nikpa Q6 projector looks incredible for its price. However, let's test it out and see if there is a catch. You know, the box is pretty big and heavy, so probably the Nick Pau Q6 projector is not very compact either. And there is only the Nick Pau logo on the cover, but when you remove it, you will see an image of the projector. The manufacturer claims that it is designed for the home theater, kitchen and office. We will check it out a little later. Inside the box is a projector. 100 inch simple projection screen, remote control, power cable, HDMI cable, AV cable, user manual, and service card. Nothing extraordinary about the projection screen is a nice bonus. Just as I thought, the Nick Pau Q6 is not a compact projector. This is probably the biggest projector I have tested in a while. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, because a larger size can mean a better cooling system. We will check it out later. However, it is definitely not a portable projector, because you will not be comfortable carrying it from one room to another. The dimensions of Nick Pau Q6 projector are 230 x 195 x 105 mm. The weight is 1770 grams. The projector is made of matte white plastic, but there are textured lines on the front. In addition, there is a lens under the protective cover and audio receiver on the front panel. On the back we can see two USB ports, two HDMI ports, AV input, headphone jack and audio receiver. There is also a power connector and a speaker on the rear panel. Large coolant windows are on the sides of the projector. If we look at the top panel, we find the focus adjustment and keystone correction wheels, as well as the control panel. The buttons are nice to press. But I think it is more convenient to use the remote control. It has power, mute, settings, menu, input source, navigation, and other buttons. By the way, Nick Pau Q6 projector doesn't have a tripod mount, but you can install it on a ceiling. There is also a built-in kickstand, so you can just place the projector on a table and raise the front of it. I think that's enough about the design. Now let's turn on the projector and look at the multimedia system. You know I said multimedia system because Nick Pau Q6 projector doesn't have Android or any other smart operating system. You need to connect an external device. For example, there are many ways to do this. First, you can use HDMI 1 and HDMI 2 ports. There is also an AV connection, but I have never used it. The easiest connection method is screen mirroring, but we will talk about it a little later. If you plug in a USB flash drive, you can go to photo, movie, music and text. Finally, there is the settings menu and service support. Let's go into the settings. First, we have picture settings, where we can change picture mode, color temperature, noise reduction, and projection mode. The sound settings include sound mode, balance, and auto volume. In the time menu, we can set the time, off time, on time, sleep timer, auto sleep, and OSD duration. Finally, we can change the language of the multimedia system. Use an HDMI link, Bluetooth, reset, and a software update. And now let's see how to use screen mirroring. And there are actually two ways to connect your smartphone to the projector. The first method doesn't require a Wi-Fi network for the projector because it uses a cellular network of the mobile device. You just need to go to the screen mirroring on your smartphone and select the projector. The code is 1234. It was very easy and quick.
clever if you have slow cellular data, then it is better to use Wi-Fi network. First, you need to go to Wi-Fi connection and connect to your home Wi-Fi network on the projector. Now open the screen mirroring menu on your smartphone and select the projector. You don't need to enter the code this time. It seems to me that the latency is really lower via a Wi-Fi connection. Nick Pell Q6 projector also supports Bluetooth 5.1. You can use it to connect external speakers or headphones. For that, go to the Settings menu, Option, Bluetooth Settings, and turn on the Bluetooth mode. Now select Search Bluetooth. I have Apple AirPods. As you can see, they are detected and connected to the projector. However, the Nick Pell Q6 projector has a pretty good 5 watts built-in speaker. The volume is very high, so the built-in speaker is enough even for a large room. By the way, the manufacturer claims that the noise level of the projector is only 35 decibels. To be honest, it is hard to believe. Let's check it out. So the fan noise near projector is 53 decibels. And it is about 45 decibels at a distance of 1 meter. It is not 35 decibels, but it is still very quiet for a budget projector. Finally, let's move on to the projection quality. I connected my laptop to the projector via HDMI cable. We can see the native resolution of 1080p 60Hz. I also place the projector 2 meters away from the wall. The projection size is about 80 inches. However, a Nick Pau Q6 projector supports up to 300 inches screen size at a distance of 10 meters. As for the projection quality, I noticed that the right and left sides of the screen are more yellow than the center. This is very noticeable on a wide screen. In addition, the corners are out of focus. This is a problem of many budget projectors. However, the text is clear and readable in the center. When it comes to watching videos, it is very good for a budget projector. The colors are saturated thanks to 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio. I really enjoyed watching sports matches on this projector. However, you can also watch dark movies. The high brightness of 13,000 lumens allows you to do this. Okay. <laughs> 
You know you can watch sports, cartoons, or play games on the Nikbao Q6 projector even in a bright room. I put where he sleeps. I feel hunger. It's a hunger. That lizard looks pretty old. Oh, oh, oh. Anticipations run through me. Do I look old? <laughs> Thank you. That lizard looks pretty old. Oh, oh, oh. Anticipations run through me. Do I look old? <laughs> Thank you. So, in summary, I will say that the Nikpo Q6 projector didn't really surprise me, because it has some drawbacks, such as an even wide screen and blurry corners. I think it is not very suitable for the office. However, it is good for the home theater. The projector has good colors and high brightness. I also liked the quality built-in speaker. In addition, you can quickly mirror your smartphone screen on the projector and watch TikTok, Instagram, and other social media. Overall, for a projector under $100, the Nikpao Q6 is decent. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!